if you enjoy being creative with uh, photographs, you might enjoy this free app called Color Strokes. I'll just give you a very quick demonstration of how this app works. I can click here to import an image, and I'm going to find an image of uh, Mikey Mitchell uh, from our advance last spring uh, to demonstrate to you how this particular app works. Essentially, you select the color photograph. Uh, we're going to select this one. Uh, it's going to load that photograph into the app, and you'll see it turns it into a black and white photograph when it loads in. I'm going to zoom in a couple of times to get a little better control. I'll use the pan feature to move it over here in the middle where I want it. And then you go to this little button called Native Color. I'm going to leave the brush diameter fairly wide because I'm going to be doing this quickly and probably a little bit sloppily. Uh, you can fine tune it as you'd like, but basically you'll see what happens as I begin to uh, rub this uh, little circle over the photograph. What it does is it begins to reveal the, nat the native color uh, on that part of the photograph. Now you can see that uh, uh, I'm not being terribly careful here. I would choose a much smaller brush if I were trying to do this um, fine-tune it. But essentially what you do is you just rub the, the little circle over the area that you want to turn into a, to a color photograph. And uh, you can see how that makes um, Mikey stand out here uh, from the rest of the photograph by simply, simply doing this. It's kind of a poor man's Photoshop, really, is what this is. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just kind of do a real quick run over here, and you can kind of get an idea of, of how, that, uh, how that particular feature works. Now, once you've done that, then it gets kind of fun. Um, you can, of course, save this. Uh, I'll go ahead and move this back out so you can see what the photograph is in its regular size. And, and you can zoom this out, and you see how Mikey stands out from that. But to make him even stand out further, you can come over here and click on this background button. Uh, at this point, you can blur the background. And notice how this really gives us a 3D effect as I blur the background away. And you can see that the background becomes very fuzzy and Mikey stands out uh, very brightly there. You can also change the contrast of the background a little bit if you'd like to. Uh, you can adjust the brightness. You can even, over this thing called the mount, it, it adjusts the saturation of the background. So watch what happens to the color in the background as I slide, slowly move this slide over, you can see that it becomes more saturated all the way back to the original uh, black and white background that we started with. Another fun feature you might want to play with is uh, th these effects down here. This creates kind of a, oh, I don't know what to call it, kind of a sketch effect. It's called uh, hard light, uh, and it makes for kind of a, a fun effect in combination with this, with this coloring thing. So... Uh, as I said, play with it a little bit. I just came across this this weekend. It's a free download. Um, the links, uh, I'll put the link on the blog, and, and uh, if you're interested, you can download it. Enjoy.